Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you two different methods of using a VPN on PlayStation consoles. I'll be giving you a step-by-step -step guide to each process and recommending some great VPN services later on. So stay tuned. So if you're a PlayStation gamer and want to use VPNs on your console, this video is for you. And without further ado, let's get started. Also, if at any point you'd like to give any of the mentioned VPNs a try, you'll find discount links available in the description down below to help you save some extra money. Now, using a VPN on PlayStations isn't as straightforward as other devices since there aren't any ways to download their software. But there are a couple of methods that would allow you to have a VPN on your console through external means. The first technique involves installing a VPN on your home router and connecting your console to it. This will basically mimic the effects of a VPN app on your gaming console and allow you to use a VPN on other devices connected to your home network. Now let me show you how to install a VPN on your router. Also for demonstration purposes, I'll be using ExpressVPN. First, you need to sign up for a VPN service that supports router installation and subscribe to one of their plans then download their apps and complete the installation process. Next, access your router's admin interface by typing its IP address into your web browser. You can find specific instructions on how to do this in your router's manual or on the manufacturer's website. Once you're in the admin interface, download ExpressVPN firmware for your specific router model from their website. Save the firmware file to your computer. Within the admin interface, look for the firmware upgrade option and upload the ExpressVPN firmware file you downloaded earlier. This process may take a few minutes, so be patient and don't interrupt it. After successfully flashing the firmware, log into your router's admin interface again and navigate to the ExpressVPN settings. Enter your ExpressVPN username and password to connect your router to the VPN service. Within the settings, you can also customize the VPN server location and configure additional preferences. Once the router is connected to ExpressVPN, any device that connects to your Wi-Fi network will automatically be protected by the VPN. Now, the second method that would allow you to use a VPN on your console is to create a VPN hotspot by using your Windows device. This method is easy to set up and allows you to adjust the VPN settings later on if needed. First, make sure you have a computer with a VPN installed and connected. Then open the network and internet settings on your computer and enable the mobile hotspot. Create a name and password for your VPN hotspot. Now go to advanced network settings and locate the mobile hotspot and the Microsoft Wi-Fi Direct Virtual Adapter. Right click on ExpressVPN Adapter, go to Properties and select the Sharing tab. Allow other network users to connect through your computer's internet connection and choose the mobile hotspot from the drop-down menu. Connect the VPN using ExpressVPN via the OpenVPN UDP protocol. This sets the VPN location for your hotspot. And finally, go to your PlayStation Network settings and connect to this hotspot, which will share all the VPN benefits with your console. Now, it's important to note that not all VPN services are suitable for these methods. Since most of them do not have advanced protocols, and in some cases they would pose security threats. But with so many options out there, it can be overwhelming to look through all the VPN services to find the one that fits your needs. That's why I compiled a list of my top three VPNs to make this search easier for you. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs and have narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch. They're excellent for torrenting and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three, but depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'll explain why. Now, starting with ExpressVPN, and this is gonna be the one to get if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN, and it has the most verified no logs policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account 
and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest level of reliability, Express is our trusty go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN, and Nord is what I consider the best value of VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming, or if you want extra features such as a threat protection which blocks ads, malware within websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance, and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription, as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then Nord would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is our pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account, so it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. You still get some bonus features such such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're looking to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a large family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these are definitely the best in the business. Express is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity. And it's perfect for those who are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Then NordVPN is a well-rounded, high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as a strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you like, which is a great plus. And that's it for this video. Again, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts, as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. And feel free to comment down below if you have any questions, as I love getting to interact with you guys. And like and subscribe if you found this video helpful or would like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.